A greetings, Cancer, and welcome. My name is Ingrid, and I'll be doing your reading for the end of July of 2024. And let's dive right in and see what the angel oracle has. <clears throat> Expect miracles. Well, Cancer, uh, we're um, uh, expecting miracles right now as we come to the end of um, Cancerian season. And look at that excitement and uh, just bliss on her face. It just makes me feel uh, like expecting miracles is coming. And let's dive right in and see what it is um, that you're expecting. How is this miracle coming for you, Cancer? Um, and this is what I have for you. Well, you begin the reading um, needing to take time out. You've been meditating, praying, and resting. And often when we take that time to connect to our source uh, through a meditation, um, prayer, uh, just resting and renewing and healing, uh, miracles uh, do come because we're aligning with our true source. And it's going to bring you a celebration. Uh, you have another four, so there's a lot of balance here. And um, a, a celebration, you're coming to a rite of passage, uh, maybe a joining with another person um, to um, create this uh, new home, this new platform to work from. And you're very balanced. And um, there are others celebrating. This could be the announcement of a, a marriage um, that you've been praying and meditating on, and that's the miracle. And at the foundation, you have been healing and transforming yourself. Uh, this is the card of alchemy. So you've been taking a lot of the different elements within yourself and blending and balancing and becoming something totally new. And this is um, entering a whole new uh, phase of life, um, going from single to married, from married to um, a mother or father. Uh, so it's... <clears throat> An interesting image uh, that's coming because you're expecting miracles uh, through this healing and balancing and alchemizing and the forgiving and reconciling. Um, and the, in the recent past, there were a lot of choices and decisions to make. You might have had a lot of opportunities and you've been daydreaming about them. Uh, this involves a kind of shadow energy of thinking and looking to what you desire and seeing, well, what will fulfill me? Is this what I want to put out there? Um, do I want to go toward um, uh, what's in these cups? They represent um, the seven deadly sins. And the shadow figure is there in the recent past. Maybe you have been um, looking at these uh, decisions but feeling a little um, caught up in them um, under the influence of um, some deception. But let's see what's coming from that. Well, <clears throat> you've taken some um, energy from a fire sign. Um, this could be Aries, um, Sagittarius, Leo energy. But you're going to take leadership um, toward uh, this new passion project, this entrepreneurial idea. And it will lead to a lot of celebration. And it will lead to an enormous change uh, that will cause you to expect miracles. And uh, the King of Wands n is confident to know they go for what they want and they get it. That's um, miracle-minded. And so this King um, is not only just going to sit back, it's going to go forward, take command of this uh, project. And it's coming because of something is ending and there will be a new beginning. And like I was saying with this a sense of the celebration, this is a rite of passage. Um, when the death card shows up, it's just saying this could be a natural ending because you're taking a leadership. Um, after making a decision, you came to make a choice. You recognize the pros and cons of this choice you're making, but you're going toward it with confidence and passion. You know it's gonna be successful and you're allowing any um, old phase of your life to end. Um, it could be a natural ending, so you can uh, start this new beginning. And it's coming with this new opportunity to uh, take this uh, seed and move out 
Uh, maybe you're feeling very young um, about what it is you're praying for and meditating on and you want to uh, go after something. Uh, you're, you're new at it. But you can expect miracles because you're uh, going to be very uh, gifted at this. And you're going to work hard at it. And it's going to bring you a lot of wealth. And it's coming, um, and the environment is bringing you a lot of satisfaction, fulfillment, enjoyment, pleasure. Uh, just relaxing and relishing in this time of happiness. And that is coming because of this miracle you're expecting. And um, wow, the hope and fear is um, that you will uh, have to see you're worrying about some situation, but it's no need to. You have to let go of any of this negative thinking. Uh, that is what you're healing. You're transforming um, this feeling of doubt, of um, of being seduced uh, by delusions. And now you're seeing, I'm letting that in. I'm letting something go that maybe um, I was afraid to let it go. It was um, uh, something that was um, been with me a long time or I knew it needed to come to an end. And you've been worrying about this, but there's no need to because you've got uh, the Nine of Cups right here. So these are the opposite energies. One is uh, miracle-minded, expecting happiness and satisfaction. The other is worrying and depression, anxiety, defeat. Um, and so you're seeing that's a hope and fear. So let that fear go because uh, the advice is for you to um, go inward, to do some introspection on what's worrying you and get the truth about it. Uh, see it at clearly, take the emotion out of it, um, and to realize that you have a lot of um, abundance, um, generosity. You're able to uh, receive um, these blessings and spend time in nature and get some truth about uh, what it is you're knowing about yourself. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. And um, expect a miracle, and that's coming up soon at the end of the month, as you go inward um, and look inside uh, at the truth, at the knowledge, uh, that will bring you truth and clarity and transformation. And so it is. And spend time in nature in this abundance all around you. Be fruitful and um, enjoy the fruits of your labors. And so it is, Cancer, and thank you for your subscriptions and your comments and thumbs up. And you know I love you, and good luck with this, and see you next time. Bye-bye.